பாடல் தோடுடைய செவியன் பண் நட்டப்பாடை ராகம் கம்பீர நாட்டை தாளம் ஏக்கத்தாளம் திசிரநடை ஊர் திரு பிரம்மபுரம் சீர்காழி பாடியவர் திருஞான சம்பந்தர் திருமுறை ஒன்று சலிட்டேஷன்ஸ் டு த லோட்டஸ் பீட் ஆஃப் மை ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் மாஸ்டர் ஸ்ரீ சிவசங்கர் பாபா ஆஃப் கேலம்பாக்கம் சென்னை இந்தியா அண்ட் தேங்க் யூ டு மை பன்னிசை குரு ஓதுவார் சாமி தண்டபாணி ஆஃப் லூயிஷம் சிவன் கோயில் லண்டன் Shankaram Sivashankaram In this video we look at a very brief history structure of the song and the meaning of the 11 stanzas of the Devaram Thododiya Seviyan It is said you can get self realization in 1 minute if the soul is ripe to attain it and two if the lord thinks it has to be given So such was the story of Tirunyana Samandar 2 a 3 year old brahmin boy who visited a brahmapuram uh, temple along with his father so his father had gone to dip in the brahmatirtham that uh, big tank in the temple and uh, not seeing his uh, father he suddenly called out appa appa see he's only a 3 year old because he didn't know where his father had gone and uh, suddenly um, his biological father doesn't come but uh, rishabharudan that is shiva in the uh, on seated on a bull along with um, ambal by his side comes and ambal or parvati gives him that gnanappa or uh, the milk of wisdom the milk of knowledge and uh, she has transferred all that wisdom to him through that uh, gnanappa and given him that self realization this is very similar to murugar giving some uh, food to uh, muttaswami dikshit thus uh, transferring his energy to him and also of uh, ambal giving or writing on um, kalidasas that is poet kalidasas tongue so obviously his soul must have been waiting for it that is trinyan samudra soul must have been waiting for this now when his biological father comes out uh, of the tank uh, after his dip uh, he comes and sees that there are some uh, milk droplets on trinyan samudra's uh, lips and he scolds him because uh, he says why well, someone should have given him and he has just taken it like he shouldn't have taken it but then only tirunyana samandar actually narrates the whole story and he says how rishabha rudan had come and parvati had given him that gnanappa uh, so then his father uh, very joyfully or happily carries him on his shoulders and then they go into the shrine so once they in they are in front of brahmapuri shrine that is the lingam then gnana uh, samandar sings this very beautiful uh, padigam now i've spoken uh, on the sthala puranam of uh, brahmapuri surah or satyanada temple in another video the link for which is in the description below so a lot can be understood actually uh, from the uh, sthala puranam and uh, once you see that you will easily be able to uh, relate to uh, most of the meanings that are there when i speak about the meanings of the stanzas so tirunyana samandar's house still exists uh, it's a, it's an agraharam that it, uh, it's only about a furlong away from uh, the temple and now it is converted into a veda patashala by the shankaramat so the structure of the song now being a 3 year old um, what more can we expect but just describing nature or describing shiva himself so in this first song he describes the vision and shiva himself or he narrates a lot of the incidents in the sthala puranam of the place so and he uses a uh, very beautiful um, uh, words and uh, some nice rhyming uh, words you can also see when i speak about the meaning for example in the fourth stanza he says starts with vin magalnde then un magalnde man magalnde pen magalnde so very beautiful and when we come to the meaning you'll really enjoy this every second line he ends with en ullam kavarnda kalvan that is uh, the thief that stole my heart the fourth line he starts with one or two words describing the sivan or describing the place of brahmapuram and then he ends with saying a brahmapuram evya pimman even andre is he not that great one who is in this brahmapuram so what all can we uh, why do we sing this song one is for uh, spiritual growth just as tirunyana samandar got that uh, spiritual growth elevation or realization protection from uh, enemies or any negative influences and uh, progress in career as well as uh, for students educational progress so here i present the song and uh, its word to word uh, meaning in simple english obviously the more we sing these devarams the deeper the understanding and the purpose of all these songs 
is to understand and feel that love towards Shiva and progress spiritually. Singing this Devaram with an image of Brahmapuram Sattainadar temple and the deities, all the deities in your mind and the Brahmapurishwar in your mind gives you that connect to him and gives you the same benefit or punyam of physically visiting the temple. In case of limited time, you can sing the first and the last stanza and still get that grace of Lord Shiva. So now let us go to the meaning of the song. Tododaya seviyan vidaya reyor tuvan madhi sudi Kaad udaya sudalai pudi pusi en ullam kavar kalvan Yedudaya malaran munai nal panindyeta arul seyidha Pedudaya Pirama Purame Via Pemman even under him. So he's describing the first line, the vision that he had got. Thod would a year, Sevian. Thod is that earring, Sevian, the one who had who has an ear with that stud, with that ear stud. Who is Sivan? He is saying, Vidai Eri or Vidai. So is a bull that is Nandi. Eri, he's climbed on it and sat on it. Or one. Tuvan, Tuvan is pure white. Madhi Sudi, Madhi is the moon, Sudi he is wearing. Kaad Udaya, so how he has come, what is his appearance? Kaad Udaya, that is Kaad uh, Sudagad in the forest or in the symmetry, here it is symmetry. Kaad uh, Udaya, Sudalai Pudi, Sudalai again is symmetry, but the Pudi, so the ash, you know, after burning the bodies, that is what he smeared on his uh, body, it seems. Sudalai Pudi Pusi smeared. Yen ullam kavarnda kalvan. Yen ullam, my heart or my inside, my soul, he is actually stolen. And he is actually uh, taking hold of it or he has grabbed it. That's what it means. Yed udaya malaran. Yed means uh, petals. Udaya malaran. Malaran is, you know, Brahma sits on a uh, petaled lotus. That's what he is talking about. Yed udaya malaran. The person who is seated or seated on the lotus or on a flower. Munainal. So earlier in the earlier times, Paninda Yetha. Paninda means worshipped and Yetha and praised. Uh, you know that is the story of Brahmapuram, that's why it got its name. Arul Saida. So uh, Shiva then gave him that grace, gave the grace to Lord Brahma. Pid Udaya. Pid means greatness. Udaya Piramapuram, the Brahmapuram, who's, uh, which is very great. Mevia. Uh, desirably seated there. Pemman, isn't he the great one? Even Andre, isn't he the great one seated in Brahmapuram? The summary of this stanza is Lord Shiva, the thief who has stolen my heart, wears a stud in his ears, rides a bull Nandi, smears himself with ashes of the dead, and adorns his head with a pure white crescent moon. Is he not the great Lord? Happily residing in eminent Brahmapuram, who has graced Lord Brahma seated on a lotus in the past when he worshipped him? Muttral Amai Ila Naga Modena Mulai Kumba Vai Poonde Vattral Vode Kalana Palite Dena the Woolam Cover Kalvan Katral Ketal Udayar Periyar Kadal Kayal Todu Dieta Petram Murda Pirama Purame Via Paman even Andre Muttral Amai. Amai is a tortoise. Muttral, you can say, is old age or matured. So, Muttral Amai, Ila Nagam, that is a young uh, cobra or snake, Odu. So, that Amai Odu, Odu, uh, the shell, the shell of the tortoise, that's what he's talking about. Yena, Yena means a wild hog or a warthog, or that pig, a wild boar, wild pig. Yena, Mulai Kumbu. Mulai Kumbu is that uh, young um, Kumbu, that horn of the uh, the wild boar. So he is talking about a young wild boar. Kumbu, Avai Poondu. So he's decorated him 
himself that is lord shiva's decorated himself with all these three things so the shell the cobra and uh, the uh, horn of the uh, wild boar vatral wood wood means here is shell um, a skull so skull of a you know he is always having the a begging bowl as a skull vatral means dried up so vatti ponadu so it is a dried up means all the flesh and all has gone off so it is a nice uh, uh, just the skull it is wood kalan kalana means uh, a begging bowl here a utensil vessel you can say kalan kalana pali therndu pali means to beg therndu is uh, gone around or he is wandering around here you can say more it is to uh, uh, ther ther is to investigate or to research or fit for purpose that's what here it means so pali therndu enadu ullam cover kalvan கற்றல் கேட்டல் கற்றல் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் லேர்னிங் கேட்டல் இஸ் லேர்னிங் பை பை ஹியரிங் ஸோ சே டு டிவைன் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஓ டு வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ விஸ்டம் உடையார் பெரியோர் ஸோ த பிக் த கிரேட் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஹவ் காட் நாலேஜ் ஹூ ஹவ் அக்வாய்ட் நாலேஜ் ஈதர் பை லேர்னிங் ஓர் பை லிஸ்னிங் டு அதர்ஸ் கழல் கையால் ஸோ யோர் கழல் இஸ் ஹியர் இட் இஸ் த ஃபீட் ஆஃப் லார்ட் ஷிவா kayal with their um, hands tolu dieta they are worshiping and then they are praising petram urnda petram is a bull urnda is to crawl so you know a bull goes slowly so petram urnda piramapuram maybe appamma nivan andre the summary of this stanza is lord shiva the thief who has stolen my heart decorates himself with an aged tortoise shell a young cobra and the horns of a young wild boar He seeks arms in a clean fleshless skull and rides on a slowly moving bull. Is he not the great one happily residing in Brahmapuram whom great people who have acquired knowledge by learning or by listening to words of wisdom worship and praise? நீர் பரந்த நிமிர் புன்சடை மேலோர் நிலாவண் மதி சூடி ஏற்பரந்த இனவள் வலை சோரையன் உள்ளோ கவர் கழ்வள் ஊர் பரந்த உலகின் முதலாகிய ஓர் ஊர் இது என்ன பேர் பரந்த பிரமா புறமே வியப்பம்மாணிவன் அன்றே ஸோ ஹியர் வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல்லி யூ வில் சி த லைன்ஸ் பரந்த 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 இன் ஆல் த ஃபோர் லைன்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் வாட் ஐ வாஸ் சேயிங் பிஃபோர் ஸோ நீர் பரந்த ஸோ பரந்த ஹியர் இஸ் டு ஸ்ப்ரெட் யூ நோ ஹி இஸ் காட் கங்கா ஆன் இஸ் ஹெட் ஸோ நீர் பரந்த எக்ஸ்பேன்ஸ் ஆஃப் கங்கா நிமிர் நிமிர்ந்த தட் இஸ் அ ஸ்ட்ரெயிட் புண் pun sadai is the reddish brown color of the sadai of the matted hair although it is uh, uh, it is a sadai that is it is a locks of hair it is still very straightened it seems that's why he is saying nimir pun sadai nimirnda pun sadai mel on it or one nila ven nila means here moonlight it's not the moon but it's a moonlight ven is white madi moon so the moonlight of the moon sudi he has got that on his uh, hair or it is surrounding his bonnet whatever yer paranda yer means beauty alug yer paranda it's again spread full of beauty in a uh, such vel valai vel valai means venmayana uh, or white white valaigal bangles sore sore is to fall or to loosen sore en ullam kavarnda kalvan so here why he is talking about bangles is you know um, when there are uh, when when a couple is in um, love a lot of love when a woman and a man are are in extreme love and there is separation between the two or so much of love it seems you are thinned by that love and uh, because of that separation so your bangles are are loose and they start falling down that is what so it's like a tamil tradition where they uh, relate this story to the bangles falling down so that is what he is saying so much of uh, because he's got that self realization so much of bliss at that moment that is saying in ullam kavarnd kalvan and he is relating that uh, incident where normally bangles would uh, is thinned by that amount of love because something happens here and it becomes heavy your body thins 
so that bangles just uh, fall off because he is unable to bear that separation between the divine and him. Ur paranda, Ur paranda means lot of urgal, that is lot of um, uh, countries or uh, towns. Paranda, Ulagin, in this world having a lot of uh, towns or cities. Mudalagiya, this was the first. Or Ur, um, the first Ur, that is the very first town. Ida um, Yenna, what does that mean? You know, that is how Tonipuram was formed. When Lord Shiva comes in that uh, Toni in a boat, when there was the greatest deluge. So, when all the Ur, when all the towns were actually submerged, then this was the only Ur which was not submerged. That is what he is saying. Or Ur, Ida Yenna, this is such a great thing. Per Paranda, full of fame. Brahmapuram, Brahmapuram Evia, Vimman Ivan Andre, isn't he the great one? The summary of this stanza is Lord Shiva, who carries the massive river Ganga and a white crescent on his straightened reddish brown matted hair, is the thief who has stolen my heart, causing my beautiful white bangles to slip off, symbolizing separation from a lover. Is he not the great one happily residing in famous Brahmapuram? which was the only town that did not sink in the great deluge. Vun magendha madil yedadum andre vilangu thalai vottil Vun magendha palithe niyavand yenudullu kavar kalvam Man magendha Aravam malar kondrai malinda varai marmil Pan magendha piramapuram evi appamani van andre Vun magendha, vun is the sky, magendha is joyfully Madil, you know those uh, floating cities They say that uh, because they were on their own, they were not uh, they, they were not landlocked. That's why he say Vun Magarinde. He compares it to as if they were joyfully floating in the sky. Vun Magarinde Madil Yeidu. Yeidu Dum Andri. Andri is not only. Yeidu Dum means he, you know, uh, Lord Shiva cast an arrow or he threw an arrow and he burnt those three cities. So Yeidu is to throw an arrow. And so he burnt those three cities. It's not only that. He not only did that, but. Vulang Talai Votil. You know, he's, uh, he's begging in that uh, bowl. Vulang means a shining bowl. I told, you know, previously we said uh, it was a Vatti Ponada. That is, it was uh, shining because there is no flesh in it. So, it's a very nice and polished bowl. Un Magirinde. Un is for food. Magirinde. To joy, joyfully eat that for or happily. Magirinde. Pali Teriya Vande. So, for begging. So he goes begging in that with that uh, bowl. Very jo joyfully he goes, it seems, and uh, begs for arms. Man is the earth. That is desire, uh, desiring the earth or desiring that, uh, you know, that uh, putra, that uh, its own home. Aravam, the cobras that desire that putra in which it stays. Malar Kondrai, Malar is the flowers, Kondrai flowers, so flower garlands, Malind, full of, Varai marble. Now, Varai, you can say, is streaks, that is line. So, maybe he's got the garlands as uh, streaks on his chest, or you can say Varai marble. Varai is mountain, so mountain like chest, you know, six pack chest. So, they normally show, show Lord Shiva is very strong. So, you can say Varai Marble like that. So, a marble that is a chest that is as strong as a mountain. He's got those garlands, he's got the Aravam, he's got the Cobra, etc. Pen Magirinde and on one bagam he's got uh, Uma Devi or uh, Lord Parvati as one bagam. Pen Magirinde joyfully accepting uh, Uma Devi. Pirama Puram Evia Pemani Vanatre. Summary of this stanza is Lord Shiva, the thief who has stolen my heart not only destroyed the three cities floating freely in the skies, but also happily seeks arms in a shining skull and decorates his mighty chest with garlands of Kondrai flowers and an earth-loving snake. Is he not the great one happily residing in Brahmapuram who joyfully has Parvati with him?
ஒருமை பெண்மை உடையன் சடையன் விடை ஊரும் இவன் என்ன அருமையாக உரை செய்யாக மருந்து எனது உள்ளம் கவர் கழிவன் கருமை பெற்ற கடல் கொள்ளமே தந்ததொர் காலம் இது என்ன பெருமை பெற்ற பிரமா புறமே வியப்பம்மான் இவன் அன்று ஒருமை இஸ் ஒன்னஸ் பெண்மை is femininity so he's got uma devi as one part of him that's what he's saying in oneness in one part of him udayan uh, who's having sadayan the one who's got uh, matted hair vidai urum so the vidai is the bull urndu porda it is crawling even in uh, what to say about him arumayaga uh, so or those who say about him what do they say arumayaga they say he is great or arumai can also be beauty they are praising his beauty who urai seyya amarnda those people who sit around him and just praise his beauty is arumai en ullam kavarnda kalvan that person karumai karumai means uh, black or here you can say blue the blue sea like that petra karumai petra that color the, the black color that is got what is got the sea kadal kollam idu midanda dor so you know when there was the big deluge again he's talking about that tony puram story so when there was the big uh, deluge and uh, that uh, whole uh, place was covered with uh, the black sea or the blue colored sea then midanda dor so the tony that boat uh, it came floating kalam idanna when there was that time kalam that is that time idu enna what can we say about this perumai this is that perumai petra this place has got that particular greatness பெருமை பெற்ற பெருமாபுரம் மேவிய பெருமான் இவன் அன்று The summary of this stanza is Lord Shiva the matted hat thief who has stolen my heart is in oneness with goddess Uma rides slowly on a bull Nandi and is the one whose greatness or beauty is spoken highly of by people beside him is he not the great one happily residing in praiseworthy Brahmapuram which the lord reached on a boat during the great deluge marai kalanda poli padalod adalar aage malu yende irai kalanda inaval valai sorayan ullo kavar kalvan கரை கலந்த கடியார் பொழுநீர் உயர் சோலை கதிர் சிந்த பிறை கலந்த பிரமா புறம் வியப்பம்மான் இவன் அன்றே ஸோ அகின் யூ கேன் சி தட் வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் பேட்டர்ன் ஹியர் கலந்த 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 ஸோ மறை கலந்த மறை இஸ் த வேதாஸ் கலந்த ஒளி along with that sound so you know sama vedam and all they they sing some other vedas they just chant so you can either take it in that or just songs of uh, shiva just just dancing for the songs you can just say oli that sound oli padal the songs adal adalar aagi that means he is uh, dancing for those songs or for those uh, sounds uh, in bliss who lord shiva is talking about malu yendi he's got a battle axe along with him irai kalanda irai means the wrist kalanda ina vel kalanda here means serndha ina vel valai again he is talking about those white uh, bangles that i said about uh, previously in ullam kavarnda kalvan karai kalanda karai here means uh, black so karai kalanda kadiyar uh, kadiyar means fragrant pulal so about the gardens or the groves he is talking about which have got um, fragrant trees and which have got so many trees that they provide lot of shade that's why he, so karai here is dense you can say it is black but it is black because of so many trees it provides so much of shade need uyar need uyar means uh, long and uyarnda that is uh, tall so it's got even tall trees so like gardens which are filled with those uh, trees kadir sinda kadir is the light or the rays sinda is uh, scattered or splattered on the ground pirai 
So the Pirai Kadir Sindha, so the moon's moonlight he's talking about. So here he's talking about the crescent, but the Kadir Sindha Pirai, Pirai Kalanda with the moon or the moonlight on it. Pirama Puram Mevia. So the Lord Shiva who is having that moon which shows or throws so much of light on the ground, that Pirama Puram may be a Pamani Vanandre. The summary of this stanza is Lord Shiva who dances to the sound of the chanting or singing of the Vedas and carries a battle axe is the thief who has stolen my heart causing my closely set white bangles to slip off my wrist symbolizing separation from a lover. Is he not the great one residing in Brahmapuram surrounded by moonlit fragrant gardens and tall dark tree groves? Sadai Muyanga Punalan Analan Yeri Bisay Sadir Yeda Wudai Muyanga Aravo Duri the Yena the Wulla Cover Kalvan Kadal Muyanga Kadisur Kulikan Alam Punum Siraganum Padai Muyanga Pirama Puram may be a Pemangan even Andre. So Sadai Muyanga Muyanga is to embrace or Kalande along with you can say. So Sadai is matted hair. Muyanga Punalan. He's got that Punal, the lot of water, so expanse of water, Ganga. Anal. So in his hand, he's got fire. Yeri, which is burning. VC. That is, he keeps throwing it. He keeps playing with the fire like this. So, that is why it is uh, V Sigindri. It shows as if it is uh, throwing. Sadir Yaida Saduram, his skill. Yaida, he's got it. He's acquired that skill. That is one meaning. Or you can say the fire that he threw on the Madilgal, on the uh, three forts. So, Analan, Yeri, V C Sadir. Sadir means boundary also. Yellai. So, you can say a town also. So, a boundary or that town, those fortified cities, either he cast an arrow along with a burning arrow and he destroyed it. So, you can take it in any of those meanings. Udai Muyanga, that is uh, what he's got on his uh, clothes. So, he's dressed Udai, his uh, clothes, Muyanga, Aravode, Aravam, the snake, Vode. Uridinade means he is uh, going around, he is wandering around. So he has decorated himself with a, a cobra and he is going around wandering like that. That's what he means. In Ullam the Kalvan, that person has actually stolen my heart. Kadal Muyangu, Kadal the sea, Muyangu along with or just behind it, you can say embracing the sea is normally what the backwaters. So Kadi, Kadi here is the backwaters, Surinda surrounded. Kulir, uh, cold or uh, cool, Karnal. Karnal means the groves that are next to the sea. So if there is any uh, lot of trees around the beach or just before the beach area, you call them Karnal. So at that time it was a forest area, so it had lot of those um, uh, groves. Karnal, um, beautiful. Ponnam, Ponnam means uh, golden color. Siraga Annam, Siraga Annam is feathered, Siraga is feathered. Annam is the swans, Pedai, Pedai is the females. So normally the, they, they normally in, in Tamil they would normally say Annam and Pedai only they will say. But it is actually, although it says just female birds, it is both the pairs, the males and the females. Muyanga is full of or embracing again here. They are just different, they, they are the same word but just different, slight differences in meanings. So, Muyanga can either be embracing or Serindha where it uh, comes and joins or filled with Malindha that is also a meaning for Muyanga. So, Pramapuram which is filled with all these uh, swans or the herd of uh, swans, Piramapuram may be a Pimani Vanandre. The summary of this stanza is, Lord Shiva, the thief who has stolen my heart, carries the vast Ganga on his matted hair, fired arrows at the three floating cities or shows his bravery by holding fire in his hand and wanders around adorned with a cobra. Is he not the great one residing in Brahmapuram that is surrounded by backwaters of the sea and the cool groves where beautiful golden feathered swans flock together?
வியரிலங்கு வரையும் திய தோள்களை வீரம் விளைவித்த உயரிலங்கை அரையன் வலி செற்றனது உள்ளம் கவர் கழ்வன் துயரிலங்கும் உலகில் பல ஊழிகள் தோன்றும் பொழுதெல்லாம் பெயரிலங்கு பிரமா புறமே வியப்பம்மாணிவன் அன்றே ஸோ வியர் இலங்கு வியர் இஸ் வேர்வை ஸ்வெட் ஸோ ஸ்வெட் இலங்கு இஸ் ஷைனிங் வரை வரை இஸ் ஹியர் இஸ் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் ராவணன் so who is sweating by pushing that or taking away kailash so you know he lifts kailash and uh, lord shiva presses his uh, foot on it or his toe on it so we are with a lot of wear by ilang shining varai marble so varai is the, uh, the mountain kailash undi is pushing here but he is actually pushing and then lifting it up um tholgalai so his uh, shoulders uh, because he is lifting with his uh, tholgal தோள்களை வீரம் ஸோ இஸ் ஷோயிங் ஹிஸ் வீரம் ஹிஸ் பிரேவரி விளை வித்து இஸ் இன்க்ரீசிங் பிரேவரி ஹிஸ் ஷோயிங் உயர் இலங்கை உயர்ந்து மீன்ஸ் ஹியர் இஸ் எமினன்ட் இலங்கை ஸ்ரீலங்கா ராவணன் அர அரையன் அரையன் மீன்ஸ் அரக்கன் ஸோ ராவணன் த ராட்சசா வலி செற்றனது வலிமை ஸோ வலி இஸ் தி ஸ்ட்ரென்த்து செற்றனது அழித்தது தட் இஸ் இட் ஹி ரிமூவ்ட் ஹூ லார்ட் ஷிவா டிஸ்ட்ராய்ட் தட் என் உள்ளம் கவர்ந்து கல்வன் துயர் இலங்கும் துயர் இஸ் ட்ரபிள்ஸ் ஸோ வென் அவர் தெர் இஸ் ட்ரபிள்ஸ் வென் இட் இஸ் ஷோன் வென் இட் இஸ் ஹியர் இலங்கும் இஸ் நாட் டு ஷைன் பட் ஃபிட் ஃபார் பொருந்துமான பொருத்துமான ஸோ துயர் இலங்கும் உலகில் இன் திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் வாட் ஹேப்பன் எகென் இஸ் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் தட் பிக் டெல்யூஜ் விச் கேம் ஹியர் அண்ட் வென் அவர் இட் கேம் தென் தோனிபுரம் வாஸ் தி ஓன்லி பிளேஸ் தட் ஸ்டேட் வித்வுட் பீங் இம்மர்ஸ்ட் இன் தட் டெல்யூஜ் ஸோ துயர் இலங்கும் உலகில் பல ஊழிகள் ஊழிகள் இஸ் த டெல்யூஜ் த கிரேட் ஃப்ளட்ஸ் அவர் ஃப்ரம் த ப்ரளயம் தோன்றும் வென் இட் காட் ப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் இட் காட் ஜென்ரேட்டட் புழுதெல்லாம் தட் டைம் ஆ இன் ஆல் தோஸ் டைம்ஸ் தென் பெயர் இலங்கும் பேர் பெயர் இலங்கு இலங்கு இஸ் அகெயின் ஹியர் நவு டு ஷைன் பட் பேர் பெயர் ஹியர் இஸ் ஃபேம் ஓர் த நேம் that is how brahmapuram got its name it got great uh, fame because it was the only city that stayed during the great deluge brahmapuram bevya pemani vanandre the summary of this stanza is lord shiva the thief who has stolen my heart destroyed the strength of ravana of eminent lanka who displayed immense power by lifting mount kailash on his sweaty shoulders Is he not the great one residing in Brahmapuram, the city that attained great fame by not drowning in the deluge that flooded the whole world in those times? Thaaludal seedirai kaaniyamaludu thandamarai anum நீனுதல் செய் தொழியன் நிமிர்ந்தான் என துள்ளம் கவர் கழ்வன் வானுதல் செய் மகளிர் முதலாகிய வைய தவர் ஏத்த பேணுதல் செய் பிரமா புறமே வியப்பம்மா அணிவன் அன்று சோ தாழ் நுதல் தாழ் இஸ் தி ஃபீட் nudal is the forehead or he got, went for the head you know brahma and uh, vishnu one went for the uh, bottom for the feet and one went uh, for the head say say the that is the went for that irai kaniya to see the lord or to know who is more superior you can take it in any uh, any meaning malode so along with tirumal that is lord vishnu tandamarai tan tamarai on the cool lotus who uh, lord brahma anum that that who is neenudal say neenudal is to see say say the oli so uh, to see that itself uh, he destroyed who lord shiva destroyed that so he destroyed that ahankaram that these people can actually uh, go and see one can go and see the head and one can go and see the foot he destroyed that how 
Nimirinda, he stood as a column of light. So he stood straight as a column of light. That's what he means. So the implicit meaning is the column of light. Yana the ullam cover kalvan. Wal nudal sai. Wal is uh, one is one meaning is a sword, but here it is the light, woli or bright. So wal nudal, uh, the forehead that is bright or that has got so much of luster in it. Sai. Sai here can mean a red colored. Magalir or just pink, uh, blushy pink, blushy pink colored magalir, the uh, women, Mudalagiya, uh, Vayatthavar and the uh, Vayatthavar is the people of the world, out of which the first are the women who do what? Avaryetha. So they um, praise Lord Shiva. And how are these women? With a lot of luster in their um, or a lot of brightness in their forehead. So the, he's just. Uh, describing the women or he is saying that they have got so much of tejas in them. Normally when you got a lot of tejas, your soul is very bright, then your face will become very bright. So it's the what is inside is just shown on the outside. So maybe he is explaining that. Penudal say, Penudal is desirably or with a lot of love, lot of devotion. Penudal say is with a lot of devotion they come and uh, praise a Lord Shiva of Brahmapuram Mevia, Raman even Andre. The summary of this stanza is, Lord Shiva, the thief who has stolen my heart, stood tall as a column of light, thus destroying the pride of Vishnu and Brahma sitting on a cool lotus, who attempted to see his forehead and feet to prove their superiority. Is he not the great one residing in Brahmapuram, where he is praised first by beautiful women with glowing foreheads amongst others? Puttar bode porigil samanum purankur nerinil na Putta sola pulagum paliten diana the woolam cover kalvanim Matta yane maruga wuri porta dor mayam kida yena Pitar polum pirama purame via pemman even andre. So puttar ode along with the Buddhists, puri illa the puri is knowledge illa the without samanum the Jains, purankura they backbiting or they are slandering. Neri nilla neri is the righteous path or the path of wisdom, path of knowledge. Nil is the state nilla the without that so they are not on the on that uh, righteous path what the solla that is they are saying the same words they're saying one word which is not on the righteous path ulagam this world pali the so going around begging who lord shiva in the ullam cover kalvan mattayanai is a form of madayanai which is an intoxicated elephant mattam is also intoxication mattayanai maruga to bewilder to stun or uh, to confuse. So, Maruga, oh, that Uri Portha, Uri is, uh, it, he uh, removed the stripped uh, this uh, skin of the elephant and Portha, he wore it, or one. Mayam, idi enna, what is this um, illusion of doing this? What is this Maya? I cannot understand, I am confused. Pittar Polum, oh, this madman. Uh, Pittar Polum Pirama Puram Mevia Piman Ivan Andre. The summary of this stanza is Lord Shiva, the thief who has stolen my heart, seeks arms in this world where the ignorant Buddhists and Jains unanimously badmouth, thus straying from the righteous path. I wonder what illusion Lord Shiva created when he baffled an intoxicated elephant and striped its skin and wore it. Is he not the great one who madly cherishes Brahmapuram? Arunereya marai vallamuni agan poigai alarmeya Perunereya pirama purame veya pimman even tannai Manam vait unar nyana sambandhan urai saidh 
திரு நெறிய தமிழ் வல்லவர் தொல்வினை தீர்தல் எளிதாமே ஸோ அரு நெறிய அருமையான த கிரேட் நெறிய நெறி இஸ் த ரைட்டியஸ் பாத் அந்த பாத் ஆஃப் விஸ்டம் ஆர் த பியூட்டிஃபுல் பாத் ஆஃப் விஸ்டம் மறைவல்ல கேப்பபிள் ஆஃப் சேயிங் ஆல் த வேதாஸ் ஒரு ஒன் ஹூ நோஸ் ஆல் த வேதாஸ் மறை வேதாஸ் முனி ஹியர் முனி இஸ் ரிஷி பட் ஹியர் இஸ் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் லார்ட் பிரம்மா ஹூ நோஸ் ஆல் த வேதாஸ் அண்ட் ஹூஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் ஆன் தி ஹூ ஷோஸ் த ரைட்டியஸ் பாத் ஸோ அரு நெறிய மறைவல்ல முனி அகன் அகன் இஸ் அகந்த தட் இஸ் ப்ராட் ஆர் வைடு பொய்கை டேங்க் ஸோ யூ நோ தட் பிரம்ம தீர்த்தம் தட் ஹீ கிரியேட்டட் இஸ் நேம்ட் ஆஃப்டர் ஹிம் தட் இஸ் வாட் இஸ் சேங் அலர்மேய அலர் இஸ் அ ஃபுல் ப்ளூம்ட் லோட்டஸ் ஆர் அ ஃபுல் ப்ளூம்ட் ஃப்ளவர் மேய மேவ் வெர் இஸ் அ டிசைரபிளி சிட்டிங் பெருநெறிய பெருநெறிய அகென் இஸ் பெருமையான ஓர் த கிரேட் விஸ்டம் ஓர் த கிரேட் ரைட்டஸ் பாத் ஓர் த பாத் டு சால்வேஷன் நெறிய பிரமாபுரம் மேவிய ஸோ இன் பிரமாபுரம் ஹூ இஸ் சிட்டிங் ஓர் ஹூ இஸ் டிசைரபிளி தேர் பெம்மான் இவன் தன்னை திஸ் பெருமான் திஸ் லார்ட் சிவா நவ் இஸ் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் லார்ட் சிவா தன்னை டுவர்ட்ஸ் ஹிம் ஒரு நெறிய ஒரு ஃபோக்கஸ்டான தட் இஸ் ஒரு தட் இஸ் இன் ஒன் ஃபோக்கஸ் ஃபோக்கஸ்ட் வித் அ ஃபோக்கஸ்ட் மைண்ட் நெறி இந்த ஃபோக்கஸ் பாத் மனம் கீப்பிங் மை மைண்ட் ஃபோக்கஸ்ட் ஆன் ஹிம் டுவர்ட்ஸ் சால்வேஷன் டுவர்ட்ஸ் லார்ட் சிவா வைத் கீப்பிங் உணர்ந்து உணர் இஸ் வித் செல்ஃப் ரியலைசேஷன் ஆர் ரியலைசிங் மை செல்ஃப் who jnana samandar me jnana samandar urai seda whatever i have said tiru neriya this beautiful righteous path or this beautiful path tamil vallavar so tamil that i have said in tamil uh, on the righteous path on this beautiful path or beautiful tamil that i have said vallavar solla vallar so those who say these 10 verses tol vinai tol is ancient vinaigal karma so the old karmas teerdal will get removed yelidame very easily the summary of this stanza is brahma well versed in vedas that show the righteous path lent his name to brahmapuram which has a broad tank filled with lotus flowers and is a temple cherished by lord shiva that gives eternal bliss those who recite these tamil verses that show the beautiful path and which were composed by nyanasamandar who realized himself by keeping his mind focused on lord shiva will easily have their past sins eliminated shankaram shiva shankaram